This is FYI News 13 Sports. FYI's football previews continue tonight on the Sportscast. The 462 football crew takes center stage right now. Senior lineman Clarence Grutza says coming up in the Shenandoah Valley football program, he learned that to be a leader, you have to be respectful and honest. When we asked him about the Blue Devils 2013 season, he was very honest. Yeah, last year was very rough. A 1-9 season is, is very hard to take in, especially as a, you know, that was my first year starting last year, trying to get some experience under my belt, and, you know, it sucks when, when that happens. But we're completely passed on. We're a whole new team, whole new heart. We're, we're all, we're just totally different. We can't wait to start, start showing it. What did last year teach you? Last year taught me that, you know, it really, you, you play the sport because you love it, right? But you don't want to lose. Everyone likes to win. Everyone likes to win. So go out and play your hardest. That's what I learned. Now Grutza has a year of starting under his belt, and he's one of the leaders of this team along with Nick Krasinski. Last year was also a transition year for Krasinski. He was a lifelong soccer player until he started kicking for Shenandoah Valley his freshman year. When Randy Maximic took over as head coach at Shenandoah Valley, he told Krasinski that he needed to play more positions. So last season, he took on more responsibility as a kicker punter, offensive lineman, and linebacker. I realized my freshman year as I was kicking, this team, it's different. We're, we're a bunch of brothers, so I decided I wanted to help them out. I finally got my opportunity. When I got that opportunity, there's nothing more else I wanted to do. Last year, the Devils were also breaking in a new quarterback in sophomore Ian McColl. McColl impressed in his first year under center. He says he learned a lot from standout quarterback Chris Polabinski, who was in front of him on the depth chart during his freshman season. Now a junior, McColl talks about his first season as QB1. It was overwhelming at first, but once once the season started getting underway, it was, it was fine. All the pressure started. It all started lifting off. Shenandoah Valley has four players back on the offensive line and talent at quarterback and in the backfield. McColl has all new receivers around him, but says he worked with them during the offseason. Grutza talks about the Devil's D. I like our up front. Our four down linemen are pretty tough. Um, two of us are returning. We got a whole year of experience, all 10 games under our belt. Um, Nick Gursky, 53, at linebacker, very, very aggressive, very quick to the ball, great at tackling. Krasinski is ready for another year of special teams work, and here's his kicking philosophy. Honestly, I make it into a game. I see a target, I try and hit a target. If I see something, I'll, a sign or something, I'll try and hit the sign. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Shenandoah Valley Blue Devils. Football in Shenandoah is a very big thing. So many people have watched it for so many years. When I was a kid and I went to a game, you couldn't even get a seat. That's how much football means to this town. So playing under the lights for this team, it's, it's incredible. It really is. Shenandoah Valley is working on their pass coverage and are trying to be more successful in the running game. They open up their season on Friday night at home against Blue Mountain.